Hello and welcome to the uh, long-awaited Montage 101 tips and tricks from yours truly. Now, I judge you already know how to import clips. Otherwise, it's simple, you know, <laughs> drag and drop and then drag it down here and it makes a little guy from the uh, thing. So, a montage is nothing without music. Normally, I use fully copyrighted music because it sounds way better than fucking... <laughs> you know, in your montage. That's bad because it removes all monetization from your video and it'll do a bit worse and uh, YouTube hates you and they'll forever spit in your face. For this video, I'm gonna use a non-copyrighted song that I found on uh, YouTube by searching up non-copyrighted montage music and it gave me this playlist. This was the first one, it sounds like this. Ow. Okay. That one, baby. okay, you can't hear it, but I'm dancing right now. Let me get rid of the other audio and uh, let's find an interesting part of the song. First off, it's way too loud. Let me make it a bit shorter by right clicking audio gaming. Let's, let's say minus uh, minus five here. It still needs to be loud because it's, it's a montage. So the music needs to be a big part of it, not just the background part. If it was background, you'd probably make it minus 20 decibels or something. Okay, let's start it right here when the drop is. Right, that's where we want our montage to go. Okay. So I would find a clip where I do something cool. Holy Let's say kill scab. someone, all right? So there's a scav there. I'm really terrible at killing him. And I'm probably complaining about the gun being bad. What the, f what the fuck? This site fucking sucks. Eh? See, yeah. So that clip I can't do anything with because it's not cool. Yeah. There I kill a scav. All right, let's use this one because I actually kill someone here. All right, so. The fundamentals is timing it with the music. Now that's a big part of my videos and a big part of anyone's video in my opinion. Right here you see, boom. Right, if you zoom in really far, I'm holding Alt and scrolling, by the way, if you don't know that. Uh, and then you can see this little boom right there. You see that? So you go right here. You see how the waveform has a spike here. Basically, I'm going to try and move that to the exact point. See that? Right there. Ooh, that's kind of it. If you zoom out, it won't be noticeable. And then when you shoot, the problem is, though, Tarkov audio is delayed. I shoot here and the audio is here, making it a little bit uh, shitty timing. That's how a gun actually works in real life. But for movie part, I'm going to move it. And I'm holding Alt to only cut a specific part of it. Otherwise, I'll cut all of it. So I'm holding Alt and you can see I can choose which one I want to cut. Very useful. So now when I shoot, see how it times it perfectly with the music? <laughs> It's not a specifically epic clip of me sniping a dude from 50 fucking yards out of the fucking woods, but uh, it does for, <laughs> it's a tutorial, okay? Don't, it doesn't mean to be cool, all right? <laughs> wow, look how cool that is. So we start off the clip on the beat. See what I'm saying? Like we started off like, <laughs> whoa, that's such a cool clip. See that, it, it made it way more awesome. Like if there was no music, it would just be like, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that part. You know, I could just cut out my laugh by doing that. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now next part would be, I want to zoom in. So remember that, we, we zoom it in. Remember that from the last tutorial, we go in here and we uh, make the key marks by pressing these two guys here and then we, mm -hmm. all right. Let's see, I want to zoom into the gun. So we do one of these, you know what I'm saying? Hit it with the right click, the ease in and the drag, right? So now it's like, ooh, that zooms in with the scope, as you can see, because I started off at the same time as when I right click. Okay, now there's two different things we can do. We can either zoom in or we can zoom out. And in my opinion, I want to zoom out because we've already zoomed in. If I zoom in more, it'll look like ass because of the bit rate that I record at. Even though I record it, I record in 2K, 120,000 fucking bit rate, which is a lot, but it's not enough. So you make a keyframe by pressing this guy right here. Uh, when you shoot, when you want to zoom out, let's make it like th that many. And then we go back to 100, but now, this little issue that I have, and it's like an OCD thing. You see this down here shows, and this over here shows. So I actually want to zoom in just enough so you can't see it. And uh, that'll make it look more cinematic in a way. And that's also why I play without my HUD, to make zooms more cinematic. Because if there's like the little guy holding his gun here, it would like stick out and people would be like, huh? Not that many people would focus on that, but it's still a thing that I like not having. All right, so now... You see how it zooms out with it? I kind of want to zoom in more to be honest, so it like gives a bit more of a punch. So let me change these two keyframes to zoom in even more. See that? It's not fast enough. So therefore you can go like, oh, let me just move a little bit. That's cool, right? So now I think you can do is you can add the bounce by going a few frames ahead and then making a little uh, add remove keyframe. And then you go back to the other keyframe and you make it go even further back than it normally should, right? And then that'll give it like a nice, boom. you see that? It kind of a punchy effect. This one looks pretty terrible because I didn't, <laughs> I, this would be a bit more like this. 
See that? That's nice, right? That looks nicer. You kind of fiddle around with it, move it. See that? Gives a nice boom. Like you actually shot a gun, like a Call of Duty recoil type shit right there. That looks nice. That looks really cool. I like that. And it's very simple to do. And like, that's that's really the kicker is that this is actually quite simple stuff. You know, there's no like big transition pack and shit. I do have a transition pack. It's called Handy Seamless Transitions, but... I don't use it anymore, really. I use it like three times with a Turco Wipe 5. Otherwise, I do purely my own transitions. Right, so now we have that in order. We have our first bullet shot of coolness. We can add even more by doing a nice, you know, S shake. I'm judging you guys have Sapphire. If you don't, RootTracker.org has it for free. It's a great website. Um, and um, you can do a little bit of fiddling. S shake is one of the fundamentals when it comes to video editing. It adds shaky cam. As you can see, this one just doesn't make any fucking sense because why would he be shaking right now? I only wanted to shake when he shoots because that would, you know, look cool and make sense. So we can do more keyframing. Yay, I love keyframing. Keyframing is the best. I love keyframing in video editing. So you're going to do that a lot, by the way, keyframing. So we started off at one. Maybe we could change that to two. Maybe get uh, 15 frequency, right? That's really it. You can enable motion blur. I kind of like that. Motion blur looks good in videos. It doesn't look good in games, all right? Turn it off in your games. Turn it on when you're editing. Then we can tilt, we can, you know, a little bit of that, so it like, kind of rotates a little bit. Doesn't make that much sense. Let's keep it low. All right, so now we have a nice setting here, but you can see it keeps going, and it's like, ah! Uh, that's where keyframes come in. You know, this would make sense if you were, like, going, like, ah! Ah, holy fuck! You know, then we have some shake on it. That'll look cool and look funny. It'll, you know, bump up the funniness of that sh uh, screen that you're doing. But for this simply being a bullet shot, uh, let's move it to when he stops shooting, which is around here, and then we just make it zero and zero. And uh, you don't have to do it down with the uh, ramp. See that? So that's like way too much and it's like super over the top. So you can like, okay, let's make that like, you know, down to this again. And that's like, all right, that's all right. It doesn't add that much, but it adds that blur that we like. You know what I'm saying? So that's like a very impactful shot. So if we look at like the difference between jack shit, right? And, um, and what we had. See that? Wow, so cool, oh my god, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely a big thing here is uh, adding stuff like this. So now comes in the transitioning, which is we go here. There's a little clap here, we can cut here, right, right, right. Get rid of the clip, we don't really want it. Um, you can find your own part to cut at. It all depends on where you want to cut in context of the clip. For example, some, you know, dung dung sounds here, you could cut at. Try to always cut it to the beat of the music. People love that shit. They go wild for it. It's very easy. You just like, literally you just think before you cut. You know, I'm just like, oh, it's like, our clip's over. Let me just cut. You know, like, well, it doesn't make any really make much sense um, in terms of the music. It's all how far you want to go with this. You know, if you want to make something cool, then obviously you have to sink teeth and time into it. So now we have a nice cut place here. So let's find a different clip where I do something cool. What about this one? That's yeah, no, a cool okay. clip because I one-tapped that guy, kind of. I bursted him. So we take that clip. Uh, if you were too lazy to, like, drag it all the way by zooming out, it's like, oh, shit, now I can't see anymore. You can just hit Control-X. That's cut. Just, like, on your Windows PC. And you can just go back to the end and Control-V. Boom. And done. Right. So now we have two timing points that we want to use. We have the dung dung, right? So we want to cut it to the part here, and I shoot my gun around right there. So we kind of want to move the audio a little bit just to make it that more cinematic. And we go here and we move it. By the way, cutting here gives a nice point because it snaps. You see that? It snaps to uh, your point. So go to where you want it to be and then make a cut where you want it to start. You can also hit the video and press M. That'll add a marker, which does the same thing, but without you having to cut it and ruin it. That's a very useful thing. Okay, so we have some few things we can go over, right? First, the transition. Transition is very important. And you can see this one doesn't really work that well. Luckily... However, we're using the exact same gun with the exact same scope, making for a nice, seamless transition. All we have to do is match the other clip. So we take the uh, scale input and we copy-paste it into here. So now, you can see it actually cuts perfectly. Since it has the beat, it almost works as itself. Like, there, it does, there's no need for transition for like this. would be a bit more like, wow, okay, cool, dude. But now when there's music that has a beat on it, it would actually work very well. I kind of like this one more because it's like a huh. So on this one, we could have, for example, we can get the buildup by doing a little zoom here and, you know, hitting scale position, zooming in, right? Get to the focus of the dude here and we cannot like track at him, right? You see what I'm saying? So, 
And then remember to do the, uh, of course, the E sin. Open these guys up. Hit it with that. And hit it with the that. So you see that? And then we want to zoom out again. Let's do that. So we hit keyframe again. And then we just go. Blah, 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 and then we go back. We can click these to just go back to normal. And then we want to go in a bit more. Right? And do the bounce by going like this and hiding all the HUD that we don't like. Like this. So now, we need to make this go like this so it gives a nice punch. And let's see what that looks like. That looks terrible because <laughs> it zooms out too much. You can see how the HUD ruins it. You see that? The HUD makes it too visible. So we should kind of make it like this instead. Let's see. This needs to have a very subtle bounce because it's kind of a burst and not a single like big <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? It almost doesn't need one at all. So that's kind of what you can do. So now we have something like this. And that's how I normally would edit it. Of course, I would do it faster and I wouldn't be talking to myself while doing it. But now comes another fun part, which is sound effects. And let's say this is one of my funny montages, not one of my cool ones. So let me get one of my favorite sounds, which is B Hit Helmet 1, right? Uh, which is from C is Source. And I have it in my file somewhere. I'm using Everything, which is a great software delivery called Everything. And you just type in what you want. And you can see it in, in my, uh, I have some duplicates, but you know. Um, so you want to position this sound. By the way, it sounds like this. It's <laughs> a good sound. And um, you want to position it where the dude gets hit. So probably right around right here. Maybe a bit more on the beat, actually. So that's a cool sound. It doesn't really have the punch that I want it to. So that's a lot of the editing as well. It's like, eh, I don't really like that sound. So let's use the best sound ever created, which is the headshot from Rust. So it sounds like this. <laughs> right? So because this being a burst, it makes it that much more annoying. And if you can listen to the sound effect, it doesn't really make that much sense. So let's use it here instead. And let's see what that sounds like. See, that sounds a lot nicer. This is a bit more difficult. And I feel like what we could add here instead would be maybe a USEC death screen because it's a USEC that I shoot in the face, right? So we have some like uh, USEC uh, 5 death. That's the newest USEC. Patrick, what does he sound like? That one doesn't really work. So I'm going to remove that. Don't put sounds that doesn't make any sense. It don't work. It, it only ruins. It doesn't add. It's like, oh, but sound effects always, you know, always do something. Not always the case. Let me, for example, get the Minecraft bow hit. You know, the ding that you do when you hit someone with a bow in Minecraft. That one's pretty good. Let's move it a bit. That one kind of works. But really, in this clip, I don't think anything works. So I'm just going to leave it with no sound. And it works fine. Because the music does its job of telling the story. Now you have something pretty basic. And of course, you want to cut it on the, on the beat, which is right here. Boom, boom. And now you have that. So this is really how to do a junker style montage of cutting it to the beat and zooming in and adding funny sounds all the time. So there's obviously some more shit I do and sometimes I integrate Blender animations into it. And that's like a heap of work that I don't recommend doing unless you want to sink months into your videos and never upload like I do. So that's pretty much it that I have for you. Uh, let me know if you need something more specific. Uh, I don't really know what I should do next, but <laughs> leave me some suggestions. I'll maybe do some Blender stuff. Who knows? So thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.